Hey everybody, this is part two of making character shells. The first process was, if you go back and, and watch our video, it was more of a manual process of uh, creating our interior shape to um, boolean out the inside of this character. So this process that I'm going to show you is more of the automatic way. I'm going to start off using this character um, bust that I did, and I will, um, I'm just going to show you the inside to show you that it's completely... Uh, well, it's completely solid right now and turn on double and so yep, it's one single mesh so the key with this first off is making sure that she's one polygroup so you can see I have like eye polygroups from when I merge the eye down and some uh, some random hair polygroups and all this stuff so we're gonna have to convert all these to one so control W I'm just gonna make everything one polygroup and this is gonna save us some hassle later on all right, so the next thing we're going to do is um, use the insert brush. So um, if you hit the B in the I, we're going to have uh, all of our insert brushes right here in the middle. And um, we're going to go with the insert cylinder. And you can also the, use the insert cube for some occasions, but I'm going to go with the cylinder for this one. And um, to use it, all you do is now drag on the mesh and let go. Um, now, in order to make this character hollow, you're going to have to undo that and you're going to have to hold the alt key and drag down. So one of the cool features with this uh, tool is that if you go drag left and up, you can actually make it longer and skinnier. So you can actually change the proportions by kind of going diagonal. So depending on what, um, what you want and uh, what, what, like how long it needs to be, um, you can change all that. So I'm going to draw mine, what I think I need. That's probably pretty good. So one thing to keep in mind whenever you draw one of these, so what's happening is it's masking everything else and leaving this one behind. If you just hit your W key right away, you're going to get a a uh, perfectly aligned uh, transpose tool. So if at any time you want to uh, move this in and out, um, you can. So um, now's the time to, to modify this because once you uh, unmask all this, then you're going to have two polygroups. So you're going to see uh, that's one and that's two. So you can always grab it again, but um, now it's a really convenient time to make your final tweaks and adjustments. So if you have to scale this, you know, you can make it longer. You can so and then transparent mode doesn't work because these are the same object um, unfortunately so you'll have to just assume that the bottom sticking out is about the same as in top so now that we have our insert brush in there let's go ahead and um, go down to geometry and dynamesh and um, what we're going to do is use this create shell uh, tool right here and this works using the insert brush um, now one of the things you have to do first is clear clear the mask so we're going to clear it and um, I'm going to set this resolution a little lower because um, this process actually does take quite a bit of time so I'm going to go down to 600 so the thickness tool it's pretty much arbitrary in terms of what that thickness means. Four does not have any real relationship other than the scale of the model in your scene. So I found for this one, as over some tests, I did about 25. That was a good thickness for our um, for our character model. So I'm gonna hit uh, create shell and then I'm gonna pause and then come back. Okay, after letting that cook for about a minute, um, come back and if we look up the bottom here, you can see that the mesh has been hollowed out. Um, now this process can sometimes give you a lot of artifacting around the edges, but there's a really easy way to clean all that up. So let's first take a look at the cross section of this character and yeah, let's hide and then we can see what we got here. So we could see that, um, our insert brush went a little bit too high and we, we sort of, uh, create a little bit of air going on here, but, um, it's not too much of a problem. Uh, we can clean that right up. Um, otherwise everything looks pretty good. So one thing you need to be concerned about is that because a lot of these are really hard 
and right angled edges, um, you could be creating unwanted overhangs on the inside of your model. So um, let's uh, go ahead and clean this up real fast. So the easiest way to do that is check that you have polygroups. So, so you should have three polygroups, one on the inside, uh, one for the transition part, and one for the outside. So let's go ahead and um, isolate this section here. So now we have just what we have. Uh, now we're just looking at the inside here. Um, so what we want to do is smooth out a lot of these sort of really harsh uh, angles um, that we have in here. Largely, you want to follow what I demonstrated in my previous videos, not creating too many large overhangs and pockets. So let's clean this up right here. So when we have these two um, uh, visible, uh, we're going to mask these two polygroups. And then we're going to show everything again, control shift click, and then we're going to click and then invert our mask. So now that we have that. So um, I'm also going to highlight this one. And um, I'm going to mask off this section here, but I'm going to leave that one. And so now we have this mask going in. And then if you hit Control and just tap, it's going to soften out that mask just a bit. And what we're going to do is go to the deformation. And um, we're going to use uh, Polish by Features. Now, if you just do Polish, polish by Feature to 100, um, it's going to give you pretty good results. Um, if you turn off this little uh, uh, dot here and run it again, you get much, much stronger results. You can see that it blew everything away. So we're getting like really soft surfaces. So let's check that. So that's polished by features with um, the dot uh, as a circle. Um, you can see it just obliterates all the overhangs. So if you run that a couple times, you're going to smooth out all this interior detail, which is awesome. And we even fix those weird, um, that weirdness that was going on here. So this uh, transition is pretty good. So that's essentially the tutorial. Um, I would say that uh, if I was going to continue to do this mesh, um, I would clip out this section here and um, also, if you wanted to add a, um, a ventilation hole, um, oh, yep, we got to do, so you got to do it one more time, get rid of all that. There you go. See, just smooths that right out. So, um, if we wanted to add another hole in this, in this model for uh, purposes of, uh, that I demonstrated earlier that um, allow for air to escape. We could do this in her ear hole. So I'll just demonstrate that real fast for you too. So if we go and draw an insert mesh on this right now, we're gonna get all kinds of funky stuff because we have three poly groups going on. So you have to be completely happy with the, uh, the inside part right now. And um, that looks fine to me. And um, and then the outside, obviously. So once we're once we're good to there, we're gonna clear our mask. Hit Control W, and um, now we've grouped the inside and the outside as a one poly group. So we're gonna use that insert brush again. So go to our geometry, and um, you know B I and insert cylinder. So just hit that and hit the Alt key and draw it to what you need. And then for this part, I like to turn on double side just so it's a little easier to see. And remember, you hit the W key right away and then you can start moving this thing around. So just enough to, does that have to be square? It's fine. All right, so that's about it. And then we're gonna clear our mask and for this one, we could just redraw and then we'll wait. One thing I forgot to note is just double check that your surface goes through both. Um, the thickness of my shells are pretty uh, pretty substantial, so you want to double check that your uh, your mesh goes all the way uh, all the way through. So um, just make sure you clear the inside and the outside. Um, my first draw that I just did didn't clear, so we'll do it again. Okay, our uh, mesh is all done. And you can see that we put a hole through her ear here. And uh, feel free to sculpt this out and just kind of clean it up a little bit and smooth it. It's fine. This area is usually so small you can't even tell. 
But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So that's character shells part two. That's how you hollow out your model with the more uh, sort of automated approach. Um, feel free to clean up the inside here and remove any weird overhangs that you might not want, like this kind of stuff. Um, a tool that I found really helpful is that um, when you use really big brushes and you start smoothing, um, you can accidentally smooth out the outside here. So be sure to turn on um, back face mask. So that way when you're smoothing on this model, it's not going to clip through um, these back faces and clear that out too. So thank you again for watching this Molter D tutorial. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Facebook, and Twitter. Definitely go to our website and subscribe to our newsletter, and we'll see you again next time.